everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied. Hey everybody, this is Brianna Rudder from HowToBlackHair.com and I created for you a compilation tutorial teaching you six different ways to do box braids. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. This compilation does not include traditional box braids because we've seen enough of those. Let's watch these six unique box braiding methods by starting with number one. Number one is micro box braids. Now I already did a tutorial on this look and some of you were a little bit conflicted because some of you said, wait, this isn't micro braids, this is box braids. And then some of you said, this isn't box braids, this is micro braids. So to put that all to rest, this style is called micro box braids because it's not quite micro size and it's not quite box braid size. So I'm gonna show you the technique of how you want to braid this braid. I've already parted my section and now I'm going to divide my braiding hair into two pieces. One piece will be a third of the original size and the other piece will be two thirds of the original size. So I'm grabbing that smaller piece, which is one third, and I'm wrapping it around the bigger piece, which is two thirds. So insert your finger and wrap your hands around the hair. And then you're gonna twirl your dominant hand, which is my right hand. You're gonna twirl it underneath and open your index and your thumb to pinch that middle leg. This is how you want your hands positioned before you begin attaching the hair. And I'm pointing to you the three sections that will be for the legs. Now to start braiding your micro braid, what you want to do is you want to grab your entire section and you're going to feed that into the middle leg where your braiding hair is. So as you see here, I'm turning my right hand to the right while turning my left hand slightly to the left. This helps me to actually braid my braid consistently by making sure the middle piece is always going to either side. So when you're braiding, you will notice that the middle piece becomes the braid that goes over to the right, and then it also turns into a new middle piece that goes to the left. So when you continue to repeat this technique, you will see that you will start to create a very beautiful micro box braid. So if you really like it when I use different colored braiding hair when I'm teaching you how to do styles, be sure to give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section so that way I can continue to do this as I'm teaching you how to do different types of braids. Now feel free to use any colors you want to achieve your desired style. And there you have it. Let me know in the comments if micro braids are your favorite. Number two is individual crochet box braids. And as the name implies, that's exactly what this technique is going to be about. So for starters, we actually don't need a lot of products to achieve this look. What you want to do is make sure that you braid your own box braids for a very natural appearance. But of course, you can do a little shopping online to find pre-mated box braids that you like. So as you can see here, I'm placing the hair around the spindle and I'm making sure to pinch off a third from each side of the braiding hair so that way all three legs of the braid is equal. And then you wanna go ahead and begin braiding. Now before I added this hair to the spindle, I slightly pre-twisted it so that way I can have a very flat appearance at the roots when I crochet this onto my braids. Now you wanna comb out your section of hair and then you're going to begin braiding it into a three strand braid, very simple. Now you can also use a little bit of edge control on the tips of your hair so that your hairs don't stick out from your braid. And make sure to subscribe if you've been watching all this time because I've got more videos on the way. So now what you're gonna do is insert your crochet hook and hook the bottom piece of your braid, the skinniest part so that it can go through underneath your roots. Then you pull the rest of the braid all the way through, insert your hook at the top of your braid, and you're gonna loop the bottom end into itself so that it can go back out through the entrance of your actual box braid. This is all very simple to do. Once you get it down the first time, you're gonna be doing these so easy and so quick in no time. Now, in order to do this technique, you have to hide your real hair in the braid. So what you're going to do is you're going to weave in and out on both sides of your box braid, your real braid. So as you can see here, I'm going back and forth on both sides of the braid, grabbing the tail end of my real hair to pull it through the box braid. You're going to continue doing this going all the way down to the ends. So that way you can hide your real hair so that these braids look flawless. Now I added a little bit of edge control for that final touch and voila, this is the finished look to my individual crochet box braids. Number three, we got rubber band box braids. And I absolutely love this method, especially for those of you who have a hard time gripping at the roots of your scalp because they literally look like they're coming from your roots without you having to grip your hair. 
because you use rubber bands instead. Now I have a small section of hair left and I'm gonna go ahead and part it down so that way I have one section left. Put edge control all the way around your parts so that your box braids look extremely neat. Now we're gonna take a piece of our braiding hair and we're gonna feather the ends just a little bit. After you do that, you're gonna section your hair in half and put the hair in the middle. This is a different way to do the rubber band box braiding technique. If you don't wanna rubber band your hair first, you can actually rubber band your hair around your braiding hair. This is so clutch for those of you who may have kids or for little ones who tend to lose their braids from slipping out. This braid will go nowhere. So this is a great way to do the rubber band box braid technique. So we have those three sections there and you're gonna pinch off a third of the hair from both legs to add to your middle leg, which is your real hair. And then you're just going to keep braiding going all the way down to the end. Now, as you're braiding your hair, if you notice that your hair tends to stick out of the braid, I want you to put a little bit of edge control on the tips of your hair to braid it. Now for those really long braids, I like to use a clip. So that way I can continue braiding going all the way down to the bottom. And there you have it, rubber band box braids. Number four is sew in box braids. And I know most of you have never seen this technique before. So let me know if you made it this far in my tutorial by commenting a bunch of random emojis down in the comment section below. The more random, the better. So now to achieve this look, what you want to do is you want to use wefted hair to actually braid your box braids. Most of our hair will actually be sewn in by braiding individual braids on this weft that you see here. Now if you like very thick box braids or you want your box braids to be jumbo sized, then I highly suggest that you add braiding hair to each section of the braid that you see me braiding here. So that way you can make them a lot bigger and thicker and you can also make them longer. So after braiding all the braids, you're then going to sew down your braiding pattern. And this is one of the braiding patterns that I like to do when I'm doing a middle part sewing. So what I'm going to do is start stitching my braids down by doing two twists and inserting the needle through to create my knot. And I'm gonna make sure to sew down the tail end along one of my neighboring cornrows. Now this is where my leave out will be. And as you can see, this looks extremely similar to a sewing braid pattern, which it is. The hair that's used for leave out will actually be braided into individual box braids. Now I'm showing you how you want to stitch down your weft when you're creating this look. And I went vertical, meaning up and down along my cornrow braid to fill in the gaps. Now if you want to, you can go horizontal back and forth if you like to do that look instead. But this is the look that I chose to go for to achieve this amazing new technique with my box braids. Now you're gonna take a little bit of edge control and you're going to make sure to slick down the roots of your hair. This helps your braids to look extremely neat. Now I went ahead and divided my section into two pieces and I'm going to begin braiding the first section. Now this is all still going to be the one section for the box braid, but I like to divide it into two sections because it makes the braid look extremely neat and it also makes the braid last literally forever. These braids will not slip out when you do this technique of splitting your section into two while braiding. So just continue overlapping one piece over the other to form your box braid. And that's the end result of my sewing box braids. Let me know if you like this style. Number five is crochet cornrow box braids. This is such a new spin on such a classic style, which we will be incorporating the crochet braid pattern when actually installing our box braids. So I'm using my spindle to begin braiding my box braids. And my braids are sized in between medium to slightly large. I didn't want them too big and I didn't want them too small. So what I'm doing is I'm braiding going all the way down to the ends and I'm just moving my spindle down further so that I can continue going up by braiding from my legs. This makes it extremely easy for me to braid my individual crochet box braids. Of course, like I stated previously in the beginning of this tutorial, you can do some online shopping to find braids that you like if you don't wanna braid them yourself because it will save you a lot of time if you actually buy the braids already braided. So this is how it looks right before I begin crocheting it onto my braid pattern. To begin crocheting your box braids, you wanna already braid your hair down into cornrow braids. 
and the design really doesn't matter that much. You just want to have a flat surface so that you can install all of your braids so that your style, when it's done, will look very flat and neat. Now when crocheting your braids, always go underneath your braids, pull the tail in through first. Then you're going to put your latch hook through the opening of the top of the braid in order to pull it through, as you can see demonstrated here. Now when you pull it through, just tighten it all the way to your braid pattern base. As you can see, that's super easy and quick to do. Now that we're at the top, I'm going to show you this really cool technique that I put to the test. Usually when you do the invisible roots technique, it's usually done with loose hair. But instead, I wanted to do it with already made box braids to see how it looks, and I absolutely loved it. So you're doing the same thing at the top as you did in the back, just making sure that you pull just a little bit tighter so that it's very flush to your scalp, so that way you can see your part when you're finished. And there you have it, ladies. So now what I'm going to do really quick as a bonus is I'm going to show you how to remove your crochet cornrow box braids. What you want to do when you're removing braids is go backwards with your steps. So you're just going to push the longest part of the braid through the opening. And to limit down the friction so that you're not pulling the entire braid across your scalp, you're only going to pull out the top portion of your braid as you see here. Extremely easy and quick to do. And it only takes about 30 minutes to reinstall your braids. So if you like this style, let me know in the comments. Last but not least is technique number six, which is called double box braids. So you may be wondering, how is this double box braids when I only see one braid coming from each part? I'm gonna simply show you how. So what I have left is actually two sections of braids, but I'm gonna demonstrate only on one section so that you can see how quick and easy this method is. So now with one section out of the way, I'm gonna grab the section you see here, and I'm going to divide it into three equal parts. Now at this point, you are not adding any braiding hair. The reason why this is called double box braids is because you braid your real hair into a box braid, and then you add braiding hair on top of your real braid to turn it into a box braid. So as this style unfolds, you'll see exactly what I mean. So you're just going to continue to overlap each leg over the other. The middle leg always goes to the left, and then the new middle leg always goes to the right. That's how you actually braid an individual braid. Braid. So now I'm just lightly twisting near the end so that my braid is neat before I begin braiding it. Now I already showed you how to prepare braiding hair in your hands to actually braid your hair. So keeping that in mind, you're going to add the middle leg of your braid to the middle leg of your braiding hair. So as you can see here, we're continuing to overlap one piece over the other. The middle piece always goes out to the right and then the new middle piece always goes out to the left. So just keep that tip in mind when you're braiding and you just get a little bit confused. The new middle leg goes to the right and then the new middle leg goes to the left, back and forth, back and forth. That's exactly how you do a braid. So if you've already been braiding for a while, you know, you've already heard this before. But for those of you who are new, that's extremely helpful advice so you can perfect your braids. And always split the legs to make sure that it can reach the ends and just clean it up really, really quick with scissors. So if you've never heard this technique before, I need you to let me know in the comment section if this is your first time. And I want to thank y'all for watching this video. So if you love this style, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed watching my box braids compilation, then subscribe right now and click the bell to join the notification squad because you don't want to miss any of my new videos that I got coming out next. Click the share button right below this video to share this tutorial through text message with your best friend. And until then, I'll catch you ladies later. Vote your favorite down in the comment section right now. One is for micro method, two is for individual crochet method, three is for rubber band method, four is for sewing method, five is for cornrow crochet method, and six is for double box braids. Hey everybody, get my $200 course on sale right now for $25, but only for a limited time. So click the link in the description box with the coupon code already applied.